Hello. So in this problem, we have a uh, construction worker. The weight of the construction worker is 815 newtons. And he's standing on a roof that is sloped at a 20 degree angle. And we are asked to calculate the magnitude of the normal force on the roof of the worker. Also, for the workers over here, we can, um, you know, just as well as it's uh, just like a box, you know, this is a cubic um, worker. And the problem tells us that it is standing and that means that it is not moving. Mathematically, we will write that as uh, sum of forces in X, which is equal to mass times acceleration in X is zero, and sum of forces in Y, which is mass times acceleration in Y is zero. And the initial velocity is zero. Okay, this is how we write um, the condition that he's not moving, just, so just standing. So then we go from the pictorial representation to the free body diagram. We're going to align the x axis with the horizontal to get rid of, to eliminate as many angles as possible. And in that case, the normal is going to be just, well, normal to the surface. OK. So we can draw it. We have uh, forces, you know, gravity acting down like that. And the normal acting uh, up like that. And then we're going to have some uh, sort of friction, right? Uh, that is keeping the person in place. Otherwise, he will slide down. So the free body diagram looks kind of like this. Right, this angle over here, if you look at all the, um, the triangles like we did in a problem, the last homework, this angle is gonna be 20 degrees. But you know, it is easier to just rotate this picture so that it looks a little better, a little easier to understand. And in that case, we have the horizontal, which is the floor axis, the vertical, which is the axis that is normal to the floor. And the forces that we have are um, weight, so mg, friction, and uh, the normal. And you know, notice that if we draw this one the other direction, then the weight will be in this direction the friction will be in you know towards this direction um but it doesn't matter for purposes of what we're trying to answer which is the magnitude of the normal uh it, it will be the same in in both cases so sum of forces in x um we have negative 20 degrees. Negative mg sine theta plus the friction. And then in y, we have negative mg uh, cosine 
theta, so we want this side. And then plus the normal. And of course that's equal to zero because it is not moving. Okay, so uh, we collected a lot of information here. The only thing that we're being asked for is the magnitude of the normal. So the normal is uh, plus mg. We're going to move this one over here. Cosine theta. So we can plug in the numbers. mg is 850 newtons. And cosine of 20 degrees. And Cosine of 20 degrees is 0.94. So times the 850, we get um, 798.7. So let's say 789 Newtons. And that is the answer to this problem. Thank you.